And now, the conclusion. I got the falsehood piece. I have three pieces, three triangle pyramids. You need these, don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why that was so funny. Oh, here we go again. Not again. Okay. I got the motel key. Remember when we talked the Riverside Motel? Remember when we talked about how there was a butcher at the motel? And how I never want to go there? Riverside Motel. Whoa. I think I've been there before. What is it with Silent Hill characters and amnesia? <sighs> But the butcher is there. I don't have a rifle yet. I'm <laughs> safe. <sighs> okay. Riverside Motel it is. Death and destruction and everything. All right, we should plan our route. The Riverside Motel I am assuming is nowhere to be found. Oh, really? It's literally on the other side of town. But look, it's so small compared to the rest. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to assume that Andy's books is going to be how we're going to get over there and back through there down to the Riverside Motel. That's an assumption, of course. I'm going to see if I can get into the public records because this seems like it's a pink building and people don't lie to me in comments. You'd better not lie to me because I know where you live. <laughs> How many Satans does it take to unscrew a light bulb? Oh, there's a lot of ammo back there. I need it. Public records? More like public Satans. Nothing worth reading. You have all the public records of Silent Hill and you have nothing to read. You could read about like land purchases and stuff. On this day, the citizens of Silent Hill found a jelly bean and named it Bob. Bob was ingested by the local authorities. Yes, good. Looks like the fire started on the second floor and spread to the rest of the house. Circumstances are suspicious. Someone has ruled through this text and added a new paragraph. Seems there was an accident in the basement. An old boiler caused a fire that spread to the rest of the building. The cause would appear to be accidental. Uh-huh. Nice trick, Dahlia. Despite firefighters' best efforts, it spread to the surrounding houses. Alessa Gillespie was declared dead at the scene by Dr. Kaufman. Her body was identified by her mother. Death certificate and coroner's report will be forthcoming. You liars, all of you, you are all the liars! Wait, was that a door? No, this is not a door. Anything else up anywhere? Hello? Rifle ammo, excellent. Because of the concerns expressed by her teacher, it was important to fully look into the matter. The officer spoke with Mrs. Gillespie and her daughter and saw no evidence of any neglect or abuse. He felt that Mrs. Gillespie seemed a model parent, bringing her daughter up in a strict religious household. Further, in order to satisfy the complaint's request, we had Dr. Kaufman from Alcamilla speak with the girl alone. He said that any talk of rituals or cults were simple, childish fantasies. Mrs. Gillespie only the crime in his eyes was having read her daughter too many fairy tales. We have closed the complaint. Okay, good amount of rifle ammo. I just need the rifle right now. I'm going to take this typewriter because I'm that type of person. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Shut up, Travis. Just because I made a bad joke doesn't mean that you get to sigh loudly. Okay, so let's head to Andy's books and read or something. Hey, Satan. I said, hey, Satan, not hail, Satan. Get away from me. Oh, my fuck. What the balls? I take everything back. I was happy with the old Satans that I used to fight. I wonder if I'm missing out on a lot of items doing this, but hey, health drink. And I see that ammo in the corner. All the ammo I can get, the better. Hey, Satan! <laughs> you look ridiculous. Go back to the school. Yep, doors open. Are we gonna find more evidence of the butcher here? Because. This seems to- yeah, horror. Very funny. Andy, do you have any rifles by any chance for self-defense or something? I don't know why you'd need a rifle in a bookstore, but maybe. Assault rifle ammo? Andy, do you have an assault rifle? Uh. Wait, this is real? Apparently, I have an assault rifle, ladies and gentlemen. Andy, everything's fine. Sold lots of books. Have locked your keys in the cash register. The combination is your Greenfield apartment number. Hope you enjoyed your vacation. Dharma. I don't know what kind of accent that was and I don't care. Um, Greenfield apartment. We've only seen one Greenfield apartment, which was 213 and it was in blue. So I told you blue colors keep coming back. Um, cash register. Okay. Yes, let's take a look. Pitch ching That was easy. The bookstore key. So now I can exit through the back way, most likely. Any more crazy app why does he have a, an assault rifle in a, in a bookstore? Never mind. Never mind. I have a sneaking suspicion that since I have an assault rifle now, I have a sneaking teensy suspicion that I missed the the rifle, the regular rifle, hunting rifle, I guess. I guess we could stop by the general store. So far, all of the buildings have been mandatory. None of them have been bonuses, if I remember correctly. Shut up, I can hear a dinosaur in the, in the background. Nope, other direction. Well, maybe there's some loot to be looted. <laughs> what did I just tell you? I am... I, I have the fourth sense. Wait, everybody has five senses! You know what? I've had enough of you. I had enough of you. Execute! Execute! That was easy. Katana's OP. Okay, so I have four boxes of ammo. And there's a health duty kit. Well, I am so glad that I decided to come up here. Come on, pick it up. We're doing alright, we're doing alright. Could be better, could be better. Especially if I can find that rifle, because that's a lot of... Okay, rest up Travis, because we're going to need to make a break. Don't, don't, don't mind me. Ah, I wasn't worried. How many of you exist in this game, for God's sake? You're really overdoing it with the enemy placement. There's a big one over there, isn't there? General store, we need to get through because the street is closed. We need to get through so we can get to the back road. Is that really what you're going to tell me, game? Yeah. Yeah. 
Can I drink the booze? I like the booze. I, re I really don't drink though. But maybe Chavis likes the booze. What are you looking at? Pick it up. Yay! Ampule! It's better than booze. Because it doesn't actually destroy your lever. Liver. Not lever. I can't talk. Shut up. I have a lot of ammo for my machine gun. Or my assault rifle, I should say. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Probably means that I have to fight a lot of Satan. What's this? A toolbox. I can use it to smash somebody's head open. Yeah, I saw the saving doohickey. Here we go. Wait, 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 I missed it. It was something about a butcher too. Fantastic. Someone has written on the receipt. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes the butcher to chop off your head. Okay, the butcher has literally had only one appearance in the game. And we have a lot of clues about him butchering stuff. But so far, that's all we've seen of him. Let us exit this building. I found a broken pole. Who broke it? I don't know. But it's a pole and it's broken. I would never do such a thing. We're polar opposites to whoever broke it. <laughs> that, that was even a stretch, and even I can admit that that was a stretch. It's okay. I have no shame, though. All puns are terrible. I don't think I've drunk, drunk, drink. Don't think I've taken a single energy drink in this whole game. Oh, come the balls on! Really? You want me to go the long way f around? At two Silent Hill Street. Eh? I'm rather happy with the amount of machine gun ammo. <sighs> Assault rifle ammo we have. I'm sorry, I have to be precise or else the gun nuts will get to me. Fucking hate my life. Well, at least they gave me a health drink, so... I know you're gonna hit me. But I have a health drink to make up for that. Like, it might seem that I'm being wasteful, but honestly, in the long run, this seems way more efficient. Than breaking all my weapons trying to... You are on my last nerve, Satan Dog. Okay, Satan Puppy, big Satan Puppy, you're a boss. You're not supposed to be here. You are not supposed to be here, and you have horrible. You you should you should you should go to a doctor. You have horrible stature. Oh jeez. Well, at least I am. No, no, Travis, 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 move it. Is this the entrance to the hotel? It seems like it. Can I get in through here? Or is this going to be locked? Or can I get in through the window? No. Eesh! So, we are entering the hotel apparently, or the back side of the hotel. I don't, I don't, I don't have a bloody map. Why are we coming here? I don't know. This gate is locked tight. I'm not going to get it open. You could just climb over it. I mean, look how easy it is. Whatever. What the balls ever. Is there anything interesting around here? Like a map would be really appreciated, but I guess why would there be a map in the in the parking lot? In any case, I don't know, this this session might be a bit shorter than your regular, but this is the third session I record today because I'm really short on time and I don't know when the next time it is I can record, so I'm like jamming three sessions in one day. So I hope uh, I hope you enjoy. Next time, we go into the apartment. This session was kind of cool. Like, we went into different uh, different theater places. We ran around, saw more butchers, got an assault rifle. I think it was pretty, pretty productive. So next time, we go into the hotel. And probably confront the butcher. 
I am not too excited about that, but I mean, I, 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 I don't have a choice. So until next time, you take care. Bye-bye.